So I'm back from cleaning off my desk with the raid. Oh, hi, Callie. <laughs> I did not even realize you were there still. Since this afternoon, you've been there. Why? Well, I don't know. Probably because you're hiding from Zoe, but my dog. But yeah, I've been cleaning off my desk with the raid, and my dad said that I can't inhale it or eat it, but I don't want to eat it because that's gross. But, yeah, I've had candy in my room, and then ants are getting all over my desk, so I tried to kill them off with Raid, but I don't know. I just threw away all my candy and soda and stuff, so. Um, I'm pretty sure Callie thinks that's a good idea, too, because that's a very safe environment for my family and I and her too. Yeah. Tomorrow's Monday, so I have school. Not that Callie cares, but Zoe misses me. And she wags her tail every time I come home from school every day. And yeah, I'm actually watching Weston Curry. I think that's how you say it. It's on YouTube. And I actually found him out. I actually found who he was through through Musical.ly, actually, through Baby Ariel, through him, through her Musical.ly, with people asking her different things when they were in a theater, and somebody thought they were dating, which was funny and weird, but, yeah. I don't know what Kelly thinks. If cats and dogs and animals could talk besides us, then I would not be talking to myself all the time. I would actually have friends than other than people. <laughs> or things. Which I don't have things that are people want. Most of the animals, but that's it. I mean if you could tell if if you could tell me, Callie, what would you what you would think, then that would be amazing. I would love you forever. That would be really cool if you could talk to me. And any other animal in this world. <laughs>